Hello students, in this lesson I'm going to quickly cover JS Paint basics. I've asked you to sketch on JS Paint, uh, given that we are at home learning remotely and you don't have access to a printer or you might not have access to a printer. JS Paint allows us to sketch as we would in the classroom using this online sketch tool and the specialty paper that we require as engineers. On your classroom, you're going to have a material section, and this is true for all the classrooms, where you'll see multi-view paper, graph paper, the JS Paint link itself, and isometric paper, and there might be some other links to paper. The first link that I want you to make sure you know how to open is JS Paint. So in your material section, make sure you click on JS Paint, and that'll open up the Paint program. If you've been using it frequently, it's going to store images for you. You're going to get an error. Just ignore that. doesn't matter. Go back to your material section. Uh, depending on the assignment, I will give you a link to copy because that link will be opened on JS Paint. So for example, let me go to classwork and let's look at this uh, isometric practice number one. Okay, So you should have already done this, but you'll see it, here's the directions. Open JS Paint. I give you the link and then it says copy this link and I give you the link to copy. So what you'll do is you'll highlight the link and you'll right click copy image link or copy link address. Whatever link I'm telling you to copy that's important. Make sure you pay attention to that because on JS Paint this is the crucial step of what you need to do next. You will go to file load from URL this is the only way you can upload those images of the paper. So you click on that and you have to paste what you just copied into this field. I'm going to right click and paste or you can press control V on your keyboard and click load and it will load up whatever link that I have you copied. Okay, so that's the basic run through of how to upload the paper I'm asking you to, to use. And then of course, depending on the sketch, I need you to use the text tool on transparent to write your name on the bottom left, date it, period, put the period. If I have you first period, second period, third period, whatever period it is, make sure you write that. And the line tool is how you will sketch your lines on the isometric paper or whatever paper I'm asking you to sketch on. Use the line tool, make sure you're on medium thickness. The line tool is a click and drag function, so you click, it'll anchor wherever you first click. Drag your mouse to whatever line length you need it to be. So for example, number one, this, is, this bottom line is three units long. A unit is one of these cubes. I'm going to quickly sketch to show you. So this is one unit on this particular paper. Once you're done, let's say you finish all four sketches. Go to File and Save As. That'll download to your computer and you will be able to attach it in your Google Classroom assignments. Another way you can do this is uploading it to Imgur and you will get a link. So if I click Upload to Imgur and I click Upload, it's going to give me a link that I can copy and send. Uh, of course, another way you can do this if you go to View, Zoom, and Zoom to Window, you can see your entire work and screenshot it. So there's many ways to save your work and show me that you've completed it. The best way is to do save as so I can get the original file and be able to see a high quality image of what you've created. So that's the basics. Review this, whatever you need to review this. Ask me questions. If you get stuck on something, I'm more than happy to help.